Okay, what's up? We're back. I got Chili back today, and then we met one of our old college friends, and we're gonna go apparently tell college stories. Yes. I don't really know what we're doing, but I needed a vlog, and they're down the vlog, so. It'll be fun, trust me. Wait till you hear what happened at Five Below. Oh. We'll tell that story later. Yeah. About him, because he's in, like, a bunch of my videos now. And then that's Gustavo, and I think we're just gonna go to some park. Yes. And just hang out. Just hang out. Because it's hang beautiful. Out. It is amazing It today. is absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, it's beautiful. So, I was actually really hoping to get out today, so this is perfect. I'm really excited. <laughs> oh my god. I'm really hoping that like spring is here. Oh, me and Maddie what went to below? High below, and then we were standing in line, and, and this lady starts going in because Maddie made a comment about she's getting all this like, for I'm TikTok. Because for TikTok, they will usually ask. They'll usually be like, oh, when I go, they're like, oh, that's a lot of stuff. And then the people who usually work there know me because I'm in there all the time. And this woman started shit talking me. She sure did, and she was like, "Well, hopefully this will end." I said, "Well, she must don't make no money on TikTok, so she she's hot. She only got five followers." Well, but I was just like, and then she like walks out and continuously is like looking at me, shit talking very loudly. And the guy behind the counter has the audacity to go, "Well, I don't have TikTok either." And then kind of like starts giving me our time, but then tries to cover it up. Yep. And I was just like, "Ah, uh, like okay, I've been here enough where I promote your guys' stuff twenty four seven on a daily." But you could at least be nice to me. I'm like, it was, no. Well, I you said it, all the well, you said it best earlier. It don't take much to be kind yeah. to somebody. It really doesn't. Like, she went out of her way to be nasty and rude. Like, something about me saying, hey, I'm making a TikTok triggered her into, like, shit-talking me. Okay, so apparently we're going to be telling fun stories about me since these two have known me for, like, ten years. Yes. College, college was fun, though. College was fun. College. I would go back. Uh, Maybe not. I, I would, would go back to the hangout times. Yeah, the hangout times. We was I at, would totally go back. When we was at, uh, what was it, uh, Thompson? Yeah. That was fun. Or like Dirks. Yep. I miss Dirks. I miss like going to the bar, just sitting and talking every single day. That's what I miss. Yes. And then, well, they had good, did they have good wings? I think they had good yeah, wings. They had yeah. such good wings. They had good wings. Yes, dude, Remember I, that time Maddie them. turned around? <laughs> she, she, uh, you allergic to yes, uh, wheat. Wheat. And Maddie knows she's learned to wheat, and I'll never forget her face starts blowing up like a fish. <laughs> and I'm like, Maddie, what's wrong with you? She goes, Oh, I forgot my EpiPen, but I'm allergic to these wings. What are you doing eating the wings for? This makes no sense to me. And her face they were blew really up. good. I looked like Kendall or Kylie Jenner with like massive lips. And every time we'd go there, you would order the wings They're and so eat good. it. And I was like, What is wrong Those with Those to you? this day, that place is like. The best place that has wings. Like, oh hardcore. my god, that place is gone now. That place is. That place is. Yeah. I would say one of my, if I had to pinpoint an absolute favorite night, I don't know if you remember this, but I was in Pittsburgh living, and I came up, and you and I went to Dirks, and then we walked around all the taco places until like 3 a.m. and just like hung out walking. Around. That was one of my favorites. Mm. Like, I like the tacos. Yeah. The tacos were great, but you know what's even better? When you go with Matt to a store, and you turn around and go get something. And you know your oh my god, thing. he wants to show you guys this gummy bear thing. Hey, look here. Why get the bag when you can get the whole gummy? <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit some bye of bye. this out. <laughs> so many good videos of us on Facebook. Just oh like my god. Dancing and. Yes, no, Maddie. <laughs> I remember that time when Maddie moved back to Kansas City and she asked me to help her Build. move. And she says, hey, can you put furniture together? I went and got some I never went to Ikea from, again. She goes, I ordered some furniture from Ikea. And I'm like, sure, why not? Like, And I'm thinking that I've never put no furniture together for Ikea. And I didn't know how many pieces it come in. I just thought it would be like a table or whatever. This thing came in a million pieces. And she bought a bed, uh, a dresser, an end table, uh, a... Uh, a TV stand. That was it. I specifically was not there. I was, I was <laughs> because up. I knew how much of a shit show it was going to be. Maddie goes, if you put this together for me, I'm going to cook you dinner. And she made it sound like I'm gonna make this most amazing I dinner. dinner. You made me macaroni <laughs> with some <laughs> with some sauce in it. I was like, where's the meat at? Like, what's the, where the meat Thank go? Thank you. I love mac and cheese. I was up at two, guys. I was literally up until three in the morning the putting I furniture together for her, and I didn't even get all the furniture done. I still had the you end know, table to do and the dresser. However, we did. We tried to hang mount the TV downstairs, but I remember, like, we never mounted it. 
I don't know why, but like it never got mounted. Because the stun is stud. You couldn't find the stud. Guys, <laughs> so I turn around. I know how to. I know what studs is. I know how to do it. And I said, Maddie, go get a stud finder. And so I send her to the store. She comes back with a stud finder. So she wants to do it, find the studs. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Well, honestly, I thought you just held it against the wall and it would say yes or no, like hot, cold, yes. So no. I'm literally sitting on her couch and she's above the fireplace and she takes the stud and I said, Maddie, just slide it across. And she's going. Okay, wait, I remember a really good story. Remember no, no, I, this is the better story. No, 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 I no, no. Okay. Cause you turn around and go, ah, there's no studs in this wall. Oh my God. This stud, this stud find is broken. I said, I don't think it's a stud find. I think it's user error. Nope, <laughs> nope. She, that was the funny, I still have it on, uh, I had it on my Facebook, but I, I, I think Facebook. so, yeah. Okay. Every year it comes up. I remember, my, my really my favorite story is when I was like, hey, I need a couch. And I went and got the U-Haul and it was in the middle of a snowstorm. <laughs> and I had to oh go get the couch. Oh my God. Hold on, can I just preface this with, I would not have been able to adult. He like helped me so much the first two years of adulthood. But I was like, chill, I need a couch. I got you all, let's go. It's the middle of a fucking snowstorm. So, <laughs> Maddie doesn't ask questions about this couch. <laughs> Nothing. So she goes, I got the U-Haul, just help me with this couch. The middle couch, of a snowstorm. Middle of snowstorm. The couch ended up being a um, recliner. recliner. Massive couch. Massive Barely couch. fits in the U-Haul. U-Haul. Then it turns around. It's on the second floor of this guy's apartment. I had to carry this. I had to carry this couch. There. No, you wasn't there for this. I tried to get you to come and you I, was like, yeah, I no, I'm not coming. I was like, yeah, no. No. He tapped out on me. And so it's just me and this guy lifting this couch. And I'm like, how am I going to do this by myself? And I remember it had like the overhang and I hit the overhang with the U-Haul and was like, well, fuck. And it's like, do, 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 do. Yes. I didn't get in trouble. And then I literally basically got this couch by myself into the house. Maddie was dead weight trying to lift this couch <laughs> into her apartment. Thank God. Her apartment was on the first floor. But I remember we couldn't get through the door. No, we couldn't get through the door. And I literally had to, I think we took the legs we took, off. We took the legs off and then we pushed half of it. We had to keep climbing through the window. Yes. To like get in, in the middle of a snowstorm. It was, I was like, why do you not call and ask about these things? Nope, she never called and asked. I, well, to this day, I don't think I would. I just assume, oh yeah, it'll be easy to get. No. no. <laughs> I even got a funnier well, story. Well, it was even funnier because the couple had broken up and he didn't care. I got it for like $50. He just wanted the fucking thing yeah, he out. Just, he just wanted the couch. He just wanted it out. Because she was out, he wanted the couch. I was like, brand new couch, let's go. Yes, that was, I got a funnier story. Oh, God. People, when you rent an apartment and you need help with maintenance, all right? Something goes wrong with your apartment, you're going to call maintenance, right? I hope you're going to call maintenance. I pray you're going to call maintenance. You're paying for maintenance. You're paying for maintenance. If you somewhere. live in an apartment building and your first thought to yourself, I'm not going to call maintenance, but I'm going to call my mom and I'm going to ask my mom what to do. Are you going to talk about the time it flooded? Wait, yes. Oh, yes. I'm getting to that part. And the first thing you do is call your mom. And before you call your mom, I say, just call maintenance. No, 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 no. I'm going to call my mother. Maddie calls her mom, and you know what her mom says? Call maintenance. Call maintenance. I was like, hey mom, um, there's water everywhere. My apartment is flooding. Like it wasn't a little bit, like there was a foot of standing water. Yes. Coming from the pipes, coming from the ceiling. I remember it was wait, coming wait. from the vents. Wait, wait, hold on, hold, hold on. So, we think in a pipe burst. The I next day. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I remember. It oh, it was hilarious. <laughs> Maddie shower curtain literally wasn't oh, yeah. closed. And so when the shower is on, the water oh. went outside of the shower and soaked the whole floor. And there's a vent right there. And so it went through the vent, went all through downstairs. So I was like, oh Yeah, but my what God. caused the flood? Because remember, it flooded, flooded. And I couldn't stay there for like a week because they were... Like, that, I think that was that their was it. washing machine. I think there oh, was, was two it. times. Oh, the okay. first one was the vent. I didn't realize that's where the water was coming from. The second one, they oh, okay, had to second. literally get the water out of the apartment because there was like a foot of water. I think you're right. I think it was the washing machine. Yeah. No. Oh. Yes, it was. That was. Yeah, because remember the washing machine was at the end of the driveway. Yeah. Mm. That oh, that place. Yeah. Yes. And then me and remember at that time we had to babysit her house when she left, and we had to go walk her dog. <laughs> Damn Scooby! Damn Scooby! The dog wouldn't come back. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, what? Scooby wouldn't come back. Wait, I don't think I was there for that. No, you I wasn't. I don't think was I was told you. about this story. Yes, the dad going dog. We had to let the dog out. And turn around, the dog wouldn't go to the bathroom, and the dog wouldn't come back in. The dog wouldn't come back in. 
We had to get the dog to get back in the house. I was so irritated, and it was cold outside. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was always cold. Uh, well, was I, I, too, I always moved in the wrong time. Oh wait, I got another story. Remember the time? Oh, I don't think you know about it. Maddie turns around. New cars now, they have an indicator light. And it will tell you, oh put God. air in your tire. Oh, God. I know exactly right? where this is going. It snowed. Oh. It's like eight inches snow. Like I said, my first two years of adulthood, if I didn't have chili, I probably would have died. She literally calls me and Goose. We at our house. She says, she, I'll be right back. Turns around. Says, guys, I'm stuck. I'm like, what do you mean you're stuck? She goes, my tire just fell off. I was like, what do you mean your tire fell off? Like, the tire just didn't fall off. She goes, no, it did. It literally fell off. And so I'm like, wait, hold up. I said, well, the light was on, and I didn't put air in it. And so apparently, the tire, exactly, it literally fell <laughs> off the rim. The guy was trying to sell her a new rim. I'm like, no, 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 Maddie, don't buy no new rim. All you need now, because you just drove on it, you're going to have to buy a new tire. Like, then I said, well, go in the back and get a jack. Jack it up and put the donut on this car she had, that Hyundai, didn't even come didn't with, come a, with uh, 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 a spare tire. It came with a pump. That was it. There yeah. was no jack. It came with a, a uh, pump. It came, it came with, with a, sealer. a sealer. Yes. I was like, what car company designed this? It was a horrible design. I was like, you kidding me? So, it was a relatively new car. Like, wait, there was no reason for them to no, not yeah. include a spare. I literally had to go to Walmart yeah. the next day in the cold. Yeah. <laughs> Buy the tire, come back to her house with this tire, and put the new tire on. Jack the car, put the new tire. I was so mad. I was like, this is ridiculous no. now. Oh my God. I was freezing. I was I didn't have no gloves, no nothing. Brian was like, You want me to help? No. <coughs> I got it. Just leave me alone right now. Just leave me alone. I got this. It was so cold. I'm trying to think of my favorite chili story. Oh my god. Okay, well, now that you guys have heard enough stories that are G-rated, we'll talk to you later.